All right, hello everyone. It is I, the Pipe Hyper, about to beat the crap out of this game. Let's do it. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, we are going to be doing a normal run just because we don't want the pressure on. It's been a little while since I've been speedrunning this game consistently. I just did a run. Go check it out. Where I, after like three weeks not playing, I came back, felt refreshed, uh, and legitimately almost PB'd first try and then messed it up in the last fight. Spoiler alert. Uh, it's a really fun run to check out and just uh, see what's going on. Uh, hopefully, we can do something similar and not mess it up in the last run. Uh, the time that we're trying to beat is 2050. Uh, that is our current PB, but really the time that we're trying to beat is like 20, is 20 like 20, you know, perfect vision. Uh, so we'll say that's our current goal. Eventually we will be going for world record, but oh, I accidentally mashed A too much, which causes a slight delay in uh, us transitioning levels. So it's something that you do want to avoid, but also you do want to push A as soon as that next stage comes up to save time. So you have to find that... You can see I actually lost half a second from doing that silly little jump. Very unfortunate. Because you still have slight control of X, Y, X, Z, Z, X, D, X, uh, right after he goes into that. But that's all right. There is plenty of time to be caught up throughout our run. There are levels I took silly deaths on throughout my current PB. I think if we get rid of those alone, uh, I know this is saying that I can do like a 17 minute run. I don't know if I believe in that. I think that some of those best segments might be a little uh, messed up just because the auto runner does freak out from time to time. But it should be pretty good. I have faith in us. Very good. All right. I forgot again. That's like a two second. It's like a 1.2 second delay right there that I lose out on just being a silly goose. Uh, my last run, I forgot a newer strategy that I'm doing on this. It's a very slight change, but it makes it a lot safer and I think it is quicker. We actually avoid that first one. Then we do a regular jump there. And then I think it might be slightly faster. Let's find out. It is 0.9 seconds faster than what I did on that, so almost one full second faster to only jump once, which makes sense. Uh, and it does feel a lot safer because I was taking some silly deaths at the end there. Those are basically completely phased out by this move. Uh, I think W Radian has a current world record and I learned that from them. So uh, shout outs to them uh, and great job on the world record, my dude. If that's not who it is, I apologize. I am... I forgot. Please come back. Okay, that's fine. Right, I didn't mess that up. Did I mess that up? I think we're all right. I think we're all right. I think I did it. A... I think we're all right. Yeah, 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 we're good. I was just like a little slow on the moves there, which were a little scary. All right. On schedule. Good to go. I think there's a faster way to do that some- <gasps> That was unexpected, actually. I'm genuinely aghast. I can't believe I lost so much time on such a silly level. I also need to make sure, uh, because I do think that some of my times got messed up because I did use the same splitter for, uh, easy, and easy's definitely, if you look at the record, it is, like, a minute quicker, uh, because there is a lot of damage boosts that help you take shortcuts that are unavailable in normal in this game. Oh, I was a little scared that I didn't have the, uh, what I needed, but we were good. We were good. 
We're doing a no reset right now, you know? We're just vibing. We're just vibing. We're getting through it. We're not trying to do a death list or anything like that. That's usually when I stop enjoying runs, when it's like, all right. Oh my gosh. Uh, but I'm like, all right. Anytime that a run requires you just like lose immediately where it's like, it has to be perfect every time. Okay, how did I go from like doing, did I get overzealous? Was I like, oh man, I know what I'm doing. I don't like, do absolutely just a killer, killer in the worst way. Uh, run. Uh. But those runs that everything has to be perfect for you to achieve in, like, PB. Uh, that's what Strider became. It is exhausting. Oof. Got scared that I jumped too early there. Alright, let's see if I can do this one faster. Nope. Double jump's not what we want. Like, it's not bad compared to whatever I did that time. During the PV, apparently I, like, went around or did something really dumb. I feel like I'm on a different timing right now. Might be like a second slower than usual. No! Blah, 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 blah! Ah! I thought it was clear. Oh gosh, darn it. Alright, you know what? I didn't say that we were. I thought we were just gonna do easy breezy. I thought we were gonna do easy breezy. Uh, no. No, not, no, I'm not feeling easy breezy cover girl. Keep running the tape. Uh, all right. Nope, 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 nope. I forgot I was removing the first one. All right, doing some woo saws. Calming down, getting our blood pressure down. Making sure that we're good to go. We Accomplish this. All right. Oh, okay. I have Wu Sod. We are ready to go. No fear. No pain. No gain. We're gonna hold A. Are you guys ready for this? I'm gonna finally hold A at It's A Me. I'm going to save that second. We're gonna be like PB pace in the first like 15 level. And then we're just gonna maintain it for all 52 levels. And is that how many levels there are? I think it's 52, right? I don't know. You guys love me that. I can't remember. And we're just gonna kill it. You're probably like looking and being like, man, I started this episode, and all the other episodes are like 25 minutes. Why is this one, for some reason, 30 minutes? And then, you'll hear me lose it briefly. Just briefly. You know, after saying that we weren't going to lose it, that we were going to be easy breezy cover girl. We're going to have no issues. And, uh... I forgot that there's no double jump yet. There's no double jump, so I didn't hold the jump because I pushed A twice. Uh, you know how I was saying PB early on? We're going to get PB a little bit later and then maintain it from there. We're going to get it after one of these levels. I can't remember which one, which I took a dumb death anyways. And we're not going to take that dumb death again. Uh, I think service shaft. And uh, yeah, and then we're going to save this second from beating uh, Ambush and then holding A. Easy breezy cover girl, it's not happening. Why'd I die again? why did I have no issues with this run? No shit. Yeah. I took that one death in the final boss and it just shook me. Shook me. And uh, here's, I am shooketh. 
That's what's happening. We're not even 10 levels in and we're already 15 seconds behind. That's horrible. It's horrible. This run's not worth continuing, but here we are continuing it anyway. Because I have faith, you know? Practice is worth it. Trust the process. I'm holding A. Guess what? I held A. We saved time. We saved time. Alrighty, we're gonna save more time by using the other strat. This is gonna be like two seconds quicker than you've ever seen me do it before. Two seconds. Nah, actually two seconds than you've ever seen me. But two seconds quicker than the PB that I have on uh, live split. Okay, 1.3. Uh, shout out, so legitimately to GDQ for donating enough money to keep Splits IO open. If you guys don't know, Splits IO is a great place you should be able to upload your splits files and for you to download it it helps for comparison build outs things like that that really help uh, make a lot of games a lot more approachable uh and then also it helps you really see where people are competing without having to like main lancer times it's a really nice site it provides some additional statistics and you can upload a lot of your runs into it um it's great and i'm really and they were talking about shutting down for a while and then uh, GDQ was like, uh, was like, all right, I think they donated like, honestly, I think it was like $75,000. It was a uh, good chunk of change to, uh, it's, you know, it's not a nonprofit, but it is helping keep the community alive. And I think uh, GDQ doing things like that, that is still for speedrunners is huge, you know? Um, so I just want to highlight that they did that. I think it's really cool. Um, all right, let's not take a weird death there. It's just, I wonder if, okay, no, it doesn't matter. I was like, I wonder if getting a golden time's bad because, but no, if you can hit next level before it goes through all this stuff. Yeah, we went a little bit slower because I ran into that wall. It's okay. We had somebody recently uh, on the Discord. And here's the thing. I do, like, uh... Are you guys... I have a bad mental thing. I will judge how other people play. Don't get me wrong. You enjoy games however you want, uh, but I am like, like this game, like when I played it the first time, like I I would never dare uh, on like my first playthrough put it on easy, and that's just like a personal challenge thing to me. But that's because like, right? I think I'm a good gamer. I mean, shit. I'm out here speedrunning this game, right? Um, wow. I must have died really late. Um, but I have a bad habit, you know, where it's like, I will, I will never adjust the difficulty. I won't put it on hard. If you call it normal, that's why I'm putting it on, you know what I mean? Or, and like, especially if you're like, this is how the game was developed to be played, or something like that in the description, like, that's how I'm gonna play it, you know? Um, and so, uh, you know, and I think, I personally think that this game is very accessible in the sense that it has an easy and very easy, I think, addition to lives. It really makes a lot of this uh, uh, game more approachable, you know? We're alright. Um, so it's really jarring and almost uncomfortable to, like, have somebody... Uh, enter and be like, I can't figure this out and quit. And just like, I don't know, we like showed them videos, explained like different strategies, different ways, and they're just like, nope, can't figure it out. And like, I get it. It's like a level that's definitely uh, trickier. Um, and but to have like seven lives on it with like less difficulty, it's like, I think you're missing a core concept or something. 
it was a very strange thing and um I'll show you guys which level it is and uh, I like I think right we're we're at an advantage as gamers now in this century because I don't know if any of you guys uh, who are watching you know are Millennials like moi or Gen Xers uh, because there is a vast difference in uh, this is not worth finishing honestly but we're gonna do it there's a vast difference in gaming material today than there was like IGN gets early access to games to develop a guide that goes live the day of free to access for anybody uh, with like 100% requirements and things like that um, there's a few other like that unlike bigger games you know you know what, like back in the day like at best hopefully your local like you get stuck and like hopefully your buddy knows how to beat it or maybe your local game store has the guy that was uh, released by like Nintendo or whoever the game dev was you know maybe they have it and then you can like pick that up I accidentally hit the kill myself button like I I was just feeling it out and vibing on the controller and I hit the kill myself button in the middle of a speed run halfway through an auto scroller level what am I doing and uh so like for us to like be able to just like basically one have guides readily accessible anywhere on the internet and two you have videos to show you what you need to do and also to have like game modes like when nintendo came out it was like you play this hard ass game you play contra as is you know what i mean like uh Have you guys played Contra 3? That shit's hard as heck. Like, maybe your buddy knows the code, you know? But that's that, you know? Like, oh wow, that was weird. Um, no. Yeah, that checks out. I was too busy worrying about the, uh... My auto-splitter. The whole point of the auto-splitter is to not think about splitting. Uh, so the fact that I'm thinking about splitting because it messes up kind of defeats i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i'm doing hey guys this is a dnf uh i'm just taking too many deaths but uh you know uh maybe we'll list as such maybe i'll do more clickbaity titles see what gets your kids in uh let me know what you think of the sharks uh you can check me out again on monday uh friday wednesday this is my Monday video. I'm trying to think of my whole YouTube schedule in my head right now. This is my Monday video. Happy Monday. Happy lasagna. You guys can check me out my next video. It's going to be a Mario Maker on Wednesday. And then another one of these videos that is going to be way better. I'm definitely PBing. It's going to be a PB on Friday. So check out my PB video this Friday. Uh, if it's not a PB, leave in the comments. Uh, you lied to us. Sad face. Uh, but I'm hoping not. Uh, we're gonna tell the fortune, the future, you know? I'm dying a lot for fun, uh, just cause I can. Uh, but, you know, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate it, and, uh, hopefully I get to see you guys at, uh, GDQ. Uh, if I go and make it, we hope so. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.